up a girl. <laughs> okay, uh, so you had a shit ton of reviews today. How did those go? Yeah, company reviews. I hate reviews. I don't know if it's like an HR thing. I, don't, I feel like you already know how I feel about you during a review. There's a couple things. Um, yeah, I mean, you guys both did it. They're basic. I don't like reviews. Get, Any, who, uh, like, I know last year you said you and Smitty got into I hate you off for, or you hate me off for like 30 minutes. Any no, moments me and like Smitty that had week? one of the longer ones we always do. Uh, yeah, people were saying that Smitty was in there for a long time. Well, he's just like. He's an excuse maker, you know, and I. it's like we go back and forth. It's like we need this to grow game time. Like, well, why don't you just do it? He's like, well, can I? It's like, yeah. It's like, well, you know, I think this would be a good idea if you and Jen, like, would do it. It's like, well, why don't you just do it? Because I don't know nothing about game time. It's like, we should find somebody who's, like, no shit about gaming. It's like, well, why don't you just go find them? But the thing is, you're generally cool with people doing whatever. I don't think the business side is. So I think that's where he's coming from, if I had to guess. What do you mean? Like, there's a lot. Like, there's some right, shit. Like, like, you got to get cleared by f- them now. Like what? Whatever. You like, I like for instance, like I, I tried to go to the Bears game in London and it didn't get approved. But like, I know if I probably asked you, you'd have probably been like, "Yeah, go." Who'd you ask? Jen. So you know what I mean? Like, there's some shit that like, like that's that like, it's just sales. Uh, is, I can't remember whether I yes denied no. that. Like, I I would rarely deny you going to a Bears game. Actually, think, no, you approved it. Yes, it just, it had, you, you said Dave said this would be good. You could do it, but it has to be sold. Like, that's the big thing. Sold, sold, sold. Yeah, no, I, w- right. Which, like, we I, waste whatever, a lot of money, I'm just but I, I'm fine example. with doing stuff that's not sold if I think the content's like, I let, use an example. Caleb and Roan have the green light to do whatever the fuck they want. Mm-hmm. Don't care if it's sold, don't care whatever. I think they're both talented enough that they want to pick up and do something, do it. Mantis wants to do something better be fucking sold because i know no one's watching it no offense mantis no, that's it's review, pretty though. harsh i mean how is well, the, what how is that harsh well it's just you know I, do you it, want to go through life thinking was, you look like brad pitt it when was you look like mantis it was honest it was on, it was honest okay how how did, did he have a good review a lot of the reviews lasted quick they're like minute in and out was there any uh question someone asked that caught you off guard you don't have to say who. No, to, not really. No, nothing. There was nothing that caught you off guard. Is uh, Nate getting a review? Because I remember that's what spawned the whole he, uh, incident of him trashing everyone. He's getting one. Good. He's not in mine. K-, K. Marco's doing some reviews, so he didn't look like he was in my bucket. Oh, sure. he's got the bloggers, huh? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I had a million fucking people. I had everybody. You know, there's some people that, for me, there were very few. If I'm like, okay, there's a couple people I need reviews for. Like, I chose. It's like, I want to review KB. Like, KB is somebody I want to review. Um, but there weren't too many. And, like, what do you Because the thing about it, like, okay, my guys, a lot of my guys are talent guys, right? Yeah. So, let's say you're, like, a pitcher and you have a season and it's, like, a review. It's like, hey, maybe next year you should throw harder. Like, well, I can't. Like. Some of our guys are limited by their God-given abilities. There's like, all right, you're wor- you're doing stuff, you're trying, you're throwing shit against the wall. It's not sticking. Like, what do you want me to do? But there were probably are people on the contrary that you think are really good, but you need to squeeze a little bit more out of the tube on. I would assume. Yeah, I mean, again, I'm never gonna be a guy like you gotta do more work. It's like KB, for example, is uh, his blogs. I think are so good. It's like when you do it, be more aggressive in telling Paul, social, me that they're out because I'm so busy, but we should be putting the weight of our social ma- machine behind promoting. So sure, like, like little that. shit like that. Like Tommy, I think, is very talented and we need like more consistent like videos. All his videos are weird. So that was kind of like what we were talking about, like come up with that. So how to package it and everything like that. Yeah. yeah. The more I talk, probably the better off. You are in a way if I'm just like, yeah, you know, you're throwing like, like YP didn't do his, his Barstool Outdoors. It's like his social, you know, the show launched and it's just kind of died on social. It's like, why aren't you doing social? Why isn't like the Instagram? He's like, well, it's hard to go through all the, you know, the submissions. Well, then find somebody to do it. Like mm-hmm. take a week. You may be behind and find a fucking intern who can just sit there and do it. We'll pay the intern. Like those things. That's the number one mentality. I don't like, and YP is not a great example because he picked up and did this whole thing kind of on his own for Barcelona Outdoors. But, like, I need more help is never an answer I accept. Like, go get it. No one's stopping you from going to get the help you want. We have a bunch of people, I feel like, sitting in the corner who do nothing. Like, 
go get the help you need to get done. Like, obviously, for Barcelona Outdoors, what's the biggest promotional vehicle you have? Social. Like, you've stopped posting videos because you say you have no time. It, well, that's a terrible answer. And you're only hurting yourself. Yeah, I guess, but... That's where maybe some people have a breakdown because, like I said, you're very much like, go do it. Like, why not? Like, yes, of course, get an intern, whatever. But I feel like sometimes the sales like or business side is not always like that. Our salespeople, I hear complaints. They're not always the brightest bulbs. And I look out for the content side and I'm not like. Like, it's, it's never been a pyramid down. It's never like the ideas percolate from like my brain and go down like Part of my take, obviously, is uh, like Dan and PFT and Hank. I, I had nothing to do with that idea. Like, that's not necessarily I would have ever come up with something like that. It's not my necessarily genre. Like, Barstool Outdoors, I would never come up with the wanton don. Like, the reason Barstool is successful is we, I think, like a lot of traditional, I'd say, media companies have these head of contents or head of production or head of whatever who are like, everything's stemming from them and everything looks alike it's the same here like my shit stems from me and then everybody else's is totally their own and like no one's telling people what to do and so you have almost like 20 or 30 different brains coming up with widely different concepts ideas they collab they mix some are good some aren't but it's like there's nothing quite like it because it's so no, there there's no common thread amongst the content Okay, then let me ask you this. Is it better to have a blog? I'll say, okay, so a KB blog. Great. Usually still probably do pretty well socially. Uh, could, you know, has good viral potential, I'd say. But you know, the maybe it doesn't though, but you know the Barcelona audience loves it, okay? Or like a clickbaity blog where like fucking, you know, uh, Paris Hilton and fucking... I would say one, I, I'd say KB's better, but I wouldn't necessarily like put a huge... We, you can always find grunts. You can always find grunts to churn out the clickbait articles. You can't find the KBs. Correct, yeah. But that's, I think, where... So KB today is like quality versus quantity. He's like, do you want me to churn out more blogs? I can, quick, on like internet stories. It's like, no. Like, I'd rather one or two of your trademark blogs that you're proud of. My thing, which I don't get on, like I look, he hadn't published a blog in five days. So it's like, that's alarming. Is that be in the, in his answer, which could be truthful or not truthful? I believe it's truthful, but he's like, well, I'm like, it takes me a long time, like the process of testing, failing, and writing, and I'm working on it. As long as I know you're working on it, fine, yeah. I'm fine with that. Is where I would be like some of the grunts. It's like if I see a grunt that hasn't posted a blog, like our blogging. I mean, we used to do both, like you know, back in the day, like. Dan, Kevin, me, Keith, like we'd have the grunt blogs and we have very good blogs and we're doing it all day. That's all we did. We didn't have all the other shit and times have changed. But um, yeah, as long as I, for him, it's person to person. Like for him, for a Tommy, you know, like Kate is somebody I think doesn't get her shit out enough because I think she's pretty weird and unique and talented. Mm -hmm. So for the people that I view as like irreplaceably weird, talented people, I'd always say, yeah, do less, but make it better. Okay. So you view people as like kind of not clickbait, but like more of the popular stories mm -hmm. to get on the blog and people who and like, page views well, and like yes. little shit. Like we don't do this. Like we'll lose hundreds of thousands of dollars over Christmas break because everyone's taking it off and we're not keeping the blog going. And that's like people think people don't think about, but we just have remnant advertising. Just those page views that just the clickbait articles and stuff like that, they pay. That's pretty interesting because yeah. I don't know how all that works. Because I obviously you could understand how podcast advertising and selling a video. Every selling. time someone refreshes on our page, we get money. I think uh, during his AMA yesterday, Ken Marco was saying that like he personally like he thinks the page views not that they're overblown but like he'd rather take a good kb blog or whatever like like you were sort of saying as opposed to one that's just it's gonna both. get a, a lot of you need page both views. you need the mm -hmm. balance you absolutely need the both like he's he should be staying on people like if he sees a dip in somebody's performance really he's the one who should be like hey what's going on like why why didn't you blog today like i remember one day not to throw nate under the bus but like he had no blogs so like, what are you doing? What'd you do today? He's, he was here. He just had no blogs. And is the dog someone you like to get those some of those more popular blogs out? Yeah, there? I think I think Nate is a good 
a good blogger, very good blogger. But he's like a good set your watch. He knows what to look for. He knows how to get clicks. He knows how to like write good. So yes, he's like a good quality blogger. I mean, credit to him. The dog gets a lot of shit, but he caught your eye enough for you to hire him. Yeah, he's good. MV. He's good. I think so. Too. I think sometimes, despite what he says, he has visions of like video and things that he's not good at. Mm -hmm. So you're just more interested in kind of putting people where they belong. Yeah, a lot of people saying like Bill Belichick, and I respect. Okay. All right. What about Stephen Belichick? Fine. You'll take that too. Yeah. All right. This All jacket's right. fire. What? What is it? It's a Mike Tyson jacket. It is not. Who gave you that? Uh, Teddy. Oh, no free ads. Teddy Atlas. No. No free ads. Oh, they got beef. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Um. All right, we're gonna take a quick Who's break. Got beef. I think Teddy and Tyson. Oh, beef, yeah. because uh, yeah, Tyson as a youngster grabbed like his niece's ass and teddy atlas like put a gun in his mouth yeah that'll, yeah. that'll do it that's beef that's i beef. asked him about that yeah all right we're gonna take a break when we get back maybe we'll talk some doug flutie how was that i love doug flutie yeah so all right yeah we'll take a quick break we'll be right back barstool radio 